Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again, live from Nashville, Tennessee, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for your 2021 NFL Week 6 Primetime Game Highlight Commentary. 69,419 people in attendance for the Titans game. We couldn't get one more motherfucker in there for the perfect number. Nevertheless, is there another fan on the field? What's going on on Sunday? Where's James Harrison when you need him? Spear this motherfucker in into oblivion. Thank God for the turf monster. The rap scallion was taken down. At least in London, Mans nearly had the chance to be a part of the play. He even got to dap up the players and get a couple of pounds in there. But in the United States, not only is this man going to jail, <laughs> they're going to execute him. So Michelle told you about Russell Wilson. I want you to see what happened pregame here. I've never seen this before. Russell Wilson came out. <laughs> He went through a game. Everything. Did you ever get grounded as a kid? And you're stuck in the backyard you're by stuck yourself? In the backyard. <laughs> and you're on like, no friends. And so you go out and make up a game. He just made up a game up. Drew Brees used to do that. That's right. A form of that. We'll talk to him about that. Never in my life would I have thought I'd heard Chris Collins were roasting Russell Wilson. <laughs> Might I add, DK Metcalf just got tattooed, but Russell's out of this game. First game he's missing in his entire career. Geno Smith is starting for the Seattle Seahawks. Who would have thought we would have saw Geno Smith in prime time, back to back weeks? Get me, please. You're not catching me in this game, Jutsu. Meanwhile, back to Tennessee. Devin, I'm entering my whole phase, so I enjoy being Singletary. Carries it inside Titans territory. Jamal Adams, I'm the best in the nation. Man, what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about? was that? I'm sorry, man. Jamal Adams, I'm the best in the nation. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Jamal Adams, I'm the best in the nation. Wait a minute. Who are you? Map was into the gut of Stafford, who airs it out for Jackson. There he is. Here he in that hole. Keep running high. Tell him keep running high. He gonna keep saying three three. Hit him right in the chin. Let play ball. Stupid bitch. Now, granted, he was just imitating this brother. I'm the best in the nation. <laughs> Rest in peace to Travis Ward. And given the way Jamal Adams has been embarrassed over the course of the past years, him too. Wait a minute. You could have saw this video early and ad free. All you got to do is click the link in my description or go to patreon.com slash chiseled Adonis and become a level three, four, five, or six member. And you won't have to worry about ads. And you'll see this before everybody else. What are you waiting for? Why the damn hard camera is on Big Ben's posterior? I know we trying to look at the brother hip, but y'all couldn't just talk about it. Third and ten for Pittsburgh, but unfortunately they're participating in the Frank Costanza challenge because... Mm, I stopped short. Ensuing drive for Seattle. Geno Smith dumps it off to Travis Homer Simpson. Go, go, go. Makes three-man miss, carries it for a Seattle first down, and takes it inside Pittsburgh territory. Meanwhile, Buffalo would strike blood first on a 24-yard field goal. I wonder what Geno has in store for us. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Nothing, nothing. Following a Tennessee three and out, the Bills would follow suit and punt the football right back to the Titans, and they turn back the clock. It's 1999, Music City Miracle. Are the Bills going to fall victim again? The Titans have it inside Buffalo territory, but there's laundry on the field. A legal forward pass on the receiving team. I don't know why Mike Rabel looks like that. It's clearly a penalty. Stupid bitch. You had one job. He threw it from the 34-yard line to the 37. Like, you've got to be kidding me. You should be ashamed of yourself Chester Rogers you had one job and the misfortune would continue for Tennessee because Ryan Tannehill has a man yoink but he plays for the other team pass intercepted by Jordan Poyer taken into Titans territory one minute remaining in the quarter Big Ben showing off his talent what the fuck I nothing but a big piece of shit big fat piece of shit 
into the second quarter we go. Josh Allen looking over the middle. He's got his man. Two people were wide open. They're now inside the 25. Meanwhile, for Geno Smith, third and one. Oh, shit. The Watt brothers might be some dominatrix in an alternative universe. Why the hell are they always swatting balls? I don't know. Third and five for the Bills offense. Josh Allen moves the chains once again. Favorable field position for Pittsburgh. Najee Harris gets the ball on a toss, takes it inside Seattle territory. A few plays later, Big Ben's control is glitching. How many times he going to pump before he throw the damn football? Two plays later, jet sweep to Deontay Johnson. He's going to carry it for a first down inside the 20-yard line. Buffalo would settle for another 20-plus yard field goal through the upright six-point lead. Ensuing drive for the Titans. It was only a matter of time before they released the Kraken. Derrick Henry is loose! Oh, Lord, both Bills' last lines of defense hit the floor. Derrick Henry ran 21.8 miles per hour into the end zone, and Tennessee takes the lead on a 76-yard touchdown. And the crowd's going crazy. They're all screaming, Oh, Henry! Ever since this man learned how to use his dreadlock powers, he has not slowed down since. Oh, my God. Ensuing drive for the Bills. Oh, my God. Come here. Oh, no! Laundry is on the field. After the play, personal foul on the defense. Number 51 doesn't understand it's a fucking sack and decides to hit this man with Zen Headbutt. Automatic first down. Fucking retard. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Meanwhile, back in the land of ketchup, Big Ben looking left in the period colored zones. Got Najee Harris, goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh is on the board. Took long enough, damn near 20 minutes to finally see somebody find the end zone. Come here. <laughs> Buffalo looking to respond. Josh Allen following the penalty, looking towards his left. He's got Emmanuel Sanders in Titans territory. They're wasting little time. Very next play, Allen looking towards his right. He's got Sanders again inside the 20. Third and 18 for Geno Smith. Lord knows this man ain't got to do nothing with the football. Dumps it off. Get child asses off the field. Looks like we're going to Vermilion City. Into Diglett's cave we go. As Stephon Diglett used TM28 digs. <laughs> Touchdown, Bills. He's now tied his brother with two touchdowns apiece. Whoever gets the three touchdowns first evolves into a Doug Trio. Following drive, trailing once again. Ryan, Jack, and Jill went up the Tannehill, rolling towards his right, looking for a Julio Jones. My hand. It's our Oh my lord in heaven, Julio Jones is unreal. As for the flag, it didn't matter. It was ruled as a completed catch because it was offsides on the defense. This was a free play, and it turned out to be spectacular. The football gave Micah Hyde's noggin a flog and went ricocheted into the air, and Julio with the toe tap of a lifetime. He may not be putting up the numbers he used to in Atlanta, but this is still Julio Jones. You gotta give this brother his respect. Outstanding. Impressive. The Steelers on the move, ensuing drive. Big Ben dumps it off to Najee Harris. He's going to pick up a first down and carry it all the way to the 39. Oh, my goodness. He has just huge thighs. And, and what the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck was that? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Pardon my interruption. If you ever wanted to get your hands on some merch like this. Wow. 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 Give me what I want. Give me what I want. Click the links in my description and go to chiseledadonnashop.com and get your merch today. Just do it. Fat Randy Bullock would line up from 43 yards out, kicks it through the uprights, and it's good. Here comes the Bills, baby. Josh Allen looking left. <laughs> Gimme, gimme, gimme. Pass intercepted by Kevin Byard. He's going to take it inside the 15-yard line. This time, Tennessee wouldn't pass around the chocolate in the collection plate because Ryan Tannehill would dial up voicemail, call his own number, run his way into the end zone, and the Titans regain the lead, cuz. That's how white man runs a football. Are you a bitch? Ensuing drive, trailing once again, approaching the two-minute warning. Josh Allen looking towards his left. He's got Stephon Diggs at the 42. Third and 10 for Pittsburgh. All momentum on the Steelers' side. They're now inside the 10. The Bills moving down the field with ease. Second and eight, a minute 30 left to play in the half. Stephon Diggs has him inside the 30. And when you can't catch, you might as well run. Eric Ebron dives into the end zone. His third rushing touchdown of his career. First with Pittsburgh. And the Steelers lead 14-0. Seattle's going to try to put some points on the board before halftime. I guess not. 
third and 13 for the Buffalo Wild Wings Bills. Josh Allen rolling towards his right and looks like the Tennessee Titans are anti anti vaxxers because they stayed away from Cole Beasley, left him wide open, and now the Bills regain the lead. Somebody could have guarded that man. As we go into halftime, you mean to tell me Derrick Henry just out here on a daily basis doing training that most people can't even do? I understand dynamic workouts, but my God, this dude's on a whole other level. Could you imagine looking at your notes and seeing that you have to stiff arm your teammates at 5.52 p.m.? He deserves everything he's getting. Cheers to another rushing title. Into the second half we go. Seattle would activate their ace in the hole. Discount clearance out. Great value. Beast mode. Alex Collins. I don't know what Seattle did during halftime if they took Alex Collins' dreadlocks and dipped it in a pile of oil that was left over from Marshawn Lynch's locker. But this man here turned into somebody different. Meanwhile, for Buffalo, Josh Allen now having the lead in the second half, looking over the middles, got his man inside Titans territory. Second and three, Alex Collins strikes again, takes the Seattle Seahawks to the 10. Buffalo would take a 52-yard field goal, kick it all the way through the uprights, and it's good six-point lead. First and goal for Seattle. Hand off to Alex Collins and just look at TJ Watt. Show me a moves. Okay. Welcome. Punch. Punch. Whoa. <laughs> Didn't see that come. There's laundry on the field. I understand trying to force fumbles, but my God, this man is a boxer out there. TJ's accuracy is usually on point, but God damn, son. This man is throwing overhand rights. Since when did Madden turn into fight night? Look at the uppercut. And when he saw the left hand didn't work, he said, I bet. How about a right-handed two-piece extra crispy? Die! I'll fucking do it again. Okay. Come here. It was clearly ineffective because Alex Collins would find the end zone and give the Seattle their first points of the game and cut the deficit in half. Back to Tennessee we go. Hand off to Derrick Henry. And oh my lord, he's loose. Come here. I don't care if Micah Hyde got ran over. This brother got some heart because I'm telling you right now, 90% of the league would have saw Derrick Henry coming and move the fuck out the way. Although he made the right decision on behalf of the team, I know his shoulder is screaming right now. <laughs> Watch out, here comes Blitz Boy. The dangerous Jamal Adams did absolutely nothing because Pittsburgh's in Seattle territory. And they're continuing to drive down the field, play action fake. Big Ben looking deep towards the left. He's got Deontay Johnson inside the 20. And Jamal Adams laid out his own teammate. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Ah, friendly fire. Well, look who finally decided to plug in their controller and help people's fantasy teams. It's A.J. Brown. The Wizard of Boswell connects from 27 yards out, gives the Steelers a 10-point lead. Ensuing drive following a great kick return. Here comes Tyler Lockett inside Steelers territory. They escaped the sermon before, but not this time. Oh, Henry into the end zone. Second TD of the day. Titans regain the lead. A few plays later for Seattle. Nobody had to pay a 1,000 life points because the Seattle Seahawks would activate Cosmic Cyclone. Spinner. Everett would make two Steelers miss. He's down inside the five. The spell card activates and wins again. Got the two of them looking absolutely goofy. This time, Gino would make them look silly as he'd got his man in the end zone. Three-point deficit. Seattle's coming back. Trailing once again. Here comes the Bills. Josh Allen looking towards his left. Got his man there in Titans territory. Three plays later, Josh Allen takes the snap, looking to go deep and go for it all. Rifles it towards the end zone. He's got Stephon Diggs, but he's getting molested. There's laundry all over the field. Pass interference on the defense. I understand the use of Border Patrol, but Breon Border's out here wildin'. Somebody tell him to get out of 1965. You can't defend unless you turn your head, but... They gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. They gonna let... Greetings, it's me again. Would you guys like to win a brand new PlayStation 5? Or perhaps you'd rather have an Xbox X. All you've got to do is click the links in my description, download the free Hot Mic app, use the invite code Adonis, or click the link that'll take you directly to Hot Mic. Just follow me on the app and you'll be entered into the giveaway for a PlayStation 5 bundle and an Xbox X bundle. If you guys already follow me for the 10K follower giveaway last season, you'll already be entered. If you follow me for the NBA Finals giveaway, you'll already be entered. I don't care about burner accounts i don't care how many other accounts you happen to make all you've got to do is download the hot mic app use the invite code adonis follow me on the app and you will be in may the odds ever be in your favor nevertheless back to pittsburgh we go big ben on third down 
fuck out of here. Following the three and out, here comes Seattle. Hand off to Alex Collins, takes it inside Steelers territory. Now get your bitch ass on the floor. The Buffalo Crips in the Sioux Whoop zone. Josh Allen rolling right, looks middle, got his man, touchdown. Buffalo regains the lead. And then they take out their Uno cards and give Tennessee two for your mistakes with their own Buffalo special. Seven point lead for the Bills. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. You think you can do this to me? Tennessee's defense was absolutely discombobulated. Ain't nobody was on the right side of the field to guard Allen. They didn't even consider the fact there could be a pass here. They were absolutely bamboozled, flummoxed, flabbergasted. And the Bills were successful. Meanwhile, Travis Homer Simpson gets the handoff, blockers out in front, breaks a couple tackles, carries it inside the 15. Into the fourth quarter we go. Jack and Jill, Tanner Hill, middle, got his man, Buffalo Territory. All momentum going Seattle's way. Third and three for Geno. We coming for you, nigga. Jesus! Second and eight from the 45. Play action fake. Of course the Bills bite on it. A.J. Brown gets the reception, takes it to the 25. Jason Myers connects from 40 yards out. Tie game. Seattle has outscored Pittsburgh 17 to 3. And Derrick Henry is still out here baptizing people. Get your bitch ass out the way, nigga. And just like the Josh Norman stiff arm last year, this one wouldn't count, but my God, don't we remember? You got knocked the fuck out. Oh Lord, Big Ben's control is glitching again. I dropped it. He's got butter fingers. Fumbles on the play. It's recovered by Seattle. He claims it's an incomplete pass, but we beg to differ. After the review, you're not Tom Brady. There will be no tuck rule fuck you guys seattle football this man over here double pumping triple pumping thought he could bring the football back but didn't know he had butter on his fingers they don't call you captain fat fuck on these youtube streets for no reason i know trees that urinate that'll have a lot to say about this the steelers and ben roethlisberger give the football away ain't nothing but a big piece of shit big fat piece of shit all momentum going seattle's way are they gonna take advantage hell no no to the no no Fat Randy Bullock would connect from 38 yards out. We've got a four-point game in Tennessee. Under nine minutes left to play. First and ten for Josh Allen. Oh, what are you going to do now, big boy? Gotcha, bitch. Two plays following the sack. Josh Allen looking towards his right. He's got his man, but he's... Oh. Completely out of bounds. Time for Ben to show off that arm once again. Going down the field. What the fuck? Ain't nothing but a big piece of shit. Big fat piece of shit. The Titans get the ball back. They're on the move. Tannehill takes the snap. Looking over the middles. Got his man, A.J. Brown, inside Bills territory. Despite a quarter and a half of success, Geno Smith's offense has halted as they do absolutely nothing on third down. Under five minutes left to play. Third and six. Tannehill over the middles. Got his man. Extends the drive. Pittsburgh gets the football back. Hand off to Najee Harris. He's going to carry it to the 46. Second and one. You know where the ball's going. Hand off to, oh, get your bitch ass off me. Henry. Dives into the end zone. Titans take the lead. This man can't be stopped. Three touchdowns on the day, and he's over 100 yards. Don't ever question who's at the top. Crown him king. Best running back in the league. Derrick Henry gives his team the lead. Following the commercial break, Fat Randy Bullock to kick the ball off to the Buffalo Bills. Isaiah McKenzie fields it one yard into the end zone. Got a convoy of bodies out in front. More blockers and transgender medication. Fat Randy Bullock's on his back, and he's headed down the side. Sideline for a hundred and one yard Hold in on the receiving team. Andre Smith's a fucking idiot, man. You brought shame upon yourself and your family. He brought the food. Fucking retard. When his team needed him most, he decided to stick his hands in his opponent's pads and squeeze his nipples. Meanwhile, in Pittsburgh, hand off to Najee Harris. He takes it inside Seattle territory with under three minutes left to play. Needing to go 82 yards to take their receipt to the sperm bank and get a comeback. Josh Allen doesn't need any help as he'd find his man, Emmanuel Sanders, at the 49. Very next play, looking over the middle. He's got Moss inside Titans territory. They're now at the 40. Big Ben says Heinz Ward, Santonio San Holmes, Mike Wallace. Is Juju Smith shoots to Antonio Brown. Somebody down there, please. But it's Chase Claypool inside the 10 for a Pittsburgh Steeler. Offensive pass interference on the offense. Number 11 could have keep his hands to himself. On top of that, man's didn't even get his feet down. Do you need a shout out? Perhaps you need somebody to sing happy birthday for you. Maybe you need some help roasting a friend or you just need somebody to announce the draft order for your fantasy football league. Book me on Cameo. Go to Cameo.com slash Chisel Adonis and book me today. Second and 15, Ben takes the snap, throws it over the middle. I know that ain't who I think it is. Jamal Adams. I'm the best.
best in the nation. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. You mean to tell me your ball hawking ability is so terrible that you didn't even see the football coming straight into your face? Big Ben literally teabagged you from afar. Game on the line, and you got hit in the face mask with the football. Get your ass off the field, man. But they are who we thought they were. Trash. Second and three for the Bills. Josh Allen takes the snap, rolling towards his right, looking back towards the middle. Scott, his man inside the 20. And Carl Nassib's Gabriel Davis takes it inside the 15. Chris Boswell lines up from 52 yards out, bangs it through the uprights. Pittsburgh leads by three with 90 seconds left to play. And now it's on Geno Smith. Prime time once again. Opportunity to lead his team to victory. Takes the snap on first and 10, dumps it off. Got his man to the 45. Following play, second and three. He's going to dump it off once again and just look at those hands Seattle extends their drive third and six Josh Allen saw Tannehill dial up voicemail earlier he now wants to do the same scrambling towards his left going airborne Fuck out of here. not today not today the first down marker was at the two yard line and did Josh Allen get there no he did not the ball would be spotted at the two and a half yard line oh he came so close but you got to get that football over the marker not your body Gino still driving down the field looking towards his right he's got DK Metcalf in Steelers territory fourth and one game on the line for the Bills Josh Allen walks to the line tries to sneak across but he's not gonna make it participating in the Frank Costanza challenge mm, I stopped short game over what a finish in Tennessee Josh Allen and the Bills needed an inch but they didn't even get a centimeter what a way to stuff the hole Josh Allen had nowhere to go and on Monday night football the Tennessee Titans take down the Buffalo Bills Man, this is some more bullshit. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you'll always be up to date in all my content. On top of that, follow me all over the social media platforms, all right? Whether that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Pornhub, does not matter. Because at the end of the day, let's all go to the Shadow Realm together. 22 seconds left. Gino looking over the middles. Got his man. Seattle would use their final timeout. Very next play. Gino looking towards his left. Got Metcalf. He stays in bounce. Got Butterfingers. Fumbles on the play. It's recovered by Swain. Swain remembers. Damn it. We ain't got no timeouts. Seattle sideline is all over the field. There's no flags on the field. They get back to the line and they spike it with no time remaining. This game is over. But the referees say, wait a minute. We've got to review if the play before was a catch or not. Thank you, Jesus. I cannot believe it. I'm sorry, I fudged up, guys. First and foremost, DK Metcalf is a goddamn idiot. You are right by the sideline. Why are you fighting for extra yards? You're out of timeouts. You must settle for a field goal in this situation. Why would you try to extend the drive? Do you not have any IQ? Furthermore, Swain has the forethought to actually pick up the football and run it back to the line just in time to where there's a second remaining on the clock for the field goal. However, that wouldn't even be the case because they stopped the play to review the catch. So they put three seconds left on the clock, which still doesn't make any sense because there's no time remaining. At no point was there three seconds left on the clock here. These referees in the NFL across the league has been abysmal. How the fuck do you know this? Frustrated isn't the goddamn word for it. This is bullshit. But screw me. Everybody screws me. And nobody does a goddamn thing about it. Seattle really got away with one here and they'd get the snap and they're gonna set up a field goal with two seconds left to play to force overtime from 43 yards out Myers kick is through the uprights and it's good we're going to add an extra period never in my life have I seen a motherfucker who not even dressed to play go out there for the coin toss to make matters worse Russell Wilson not only got the call right homie picked up the coin if this ain't an advertisement for Christianity I don't know what is like an extended menstruation into the extra period we go. Geno Smith over the middles got his man at the 49. Seattle's on the move. First and 10. Come here. <laughs> well, that ain't work. Very next play. Geno over the middles got his man there in Pittsburgh territory. Third and four for Geno Smith. Here comes TJ. Holy shit! 
Took this man five quarters, but he's finally got his first sack of the night. Gino looking at him like, bitch ass white boy. We now into sudden death. Next score wins this game. Najee Harris going absolutely nowhere. Two plays later, third and four. Ben looking right. Ray May McLeod to move the chains. You want another one? Come at me, bro. Pittsburgh's offense ain't. It. Seattle takes the field once again. First and ten. Gino takes the snap. He's gonna run, but he's got butter fingers. Fumbles on the play, recovered by the Steelers. Devin Bush's GPS was off for a second. Nearly ran the wrong way like Jim Marshall. But Pittsburgh takes over. And look at Gino laying there on the floor, staring at himself like, What happened to my hands? After an evening of straight up punching people, TJ Watt finally hits his target, gets his fist on the football, and jars it loose. There's a reason why they paid him all that money. He finally wants to be named Defensive Player of the Year. Pittsburgh takes the knee, sets up an easy field goal for Chris Boswell from 37 yards out, kicks it through the uprights, and it's good. Game is over. Seattle took their receipt to the sperm bank, but they did not get their comeback. They were denied at the reception's desk, and Pittsburgh holds on to win. Pete Carroll chewing that gum oh so vigorously. I guess it's a little salty. Jamal Adams still a bum. DK Metcalf had the audacity to get in the back and forth with Sand and Sharp. How the hell do you call a Hall of Famer a washed up bum? Are you an idiot? This man is where you wish you can be. And you're going to be out here being disrespectful? Stay in your lane. And for that reason, he and his Seattle Seahawks would join the Buffalo Bills in taking out their Metro cards. And getting aboard the A.